What's up guys, Joel Staley here and today I'm bringing you the holy grail of losing fat. Flexible dieting for effortless fat loss. Eat the foods you enjoy and get ripped in only 90 days. Sounds too good to be true, I can assure you it's not. Unless you're way past 90 days away from getting in shape. But still, you can make leaps and bounds of progress in as little as 90 days just by following these simple guidelines. So let's get straight into it. As I've mentioned many times, weight loss and weight gain both come down to energy balance. This energy is measured using calories. If your goal is weight loss, which for most of us it is, you need to consume less calories than you burn, i.e. eat less and move more. If you consume more calories than you burn, you'll gain weight, and if you want to stay the same weight, maybe just recomp from being skinny fat, you want to build muscle, lose fat, but stay roughly the same weight, you're going to want to consume about the same calories as you burn each day. But how many calories do we burn each day? While everyone's different, the average person burns around 15 calories per pound of body weight each day. It could be 16 or 17 if you have a very active job and lifestyle, such as if you're a nurse or a waitress that's on your feet all day, or it could be as little as 13 or 14 if you have a desk job and you don't really move around that much in or out of work. But for the most part, it's gonna be right around 15 calories per pound of body weight is what we burn each day. So this means if your goal is to stay the same weight, you can just consume that 15 calories per pound of body weight each day. If you wanna gain weight, uh, you'll have to eat a little bit more than that, roughly 16 to 20 calories per pound of body weight. Or if you're looking to lose weight, you'll need to consume 10 to 14 calories per pound of body weight. So a 200 pound man, we'll call him Bill, that wants to gain weight will have to consume around 3,200 to 4,000 calories each day. Again, that's 16 to 20 calories per the 200 pounds of body weight. If he wants to maintain, you just take that 200 pounds times 15, that'll give you about 3,000 calories a day. But if he wants to lose weight, he's gonna have to consume anywhere from 10 to 14 calories each day, putting him between 2,000 and 2,800 calories each day. Since we now live in the future, tracking calories has never been easier. There are several apps that you can download that make calorie counting easy, and my favorite is the tried and true MyFitnessPal. But here's the best part. Here's what most people don't comprehend. It doesn't matter if these calories come from boiled chicken and broccoli or donuts, pizza, and nachos. Granted, donuts, pizza, and nachos are going to have higher calories than boiled chicken and broccoli, but it doesn't matter if you're in a caloric deficit with chicken and broccoli or donuts, pizza, and nachos. It's essentially going to do the same thing for you. So if Bill just only wants to eat pizza all day, every day, he can lose weight, maintain, or gain weight depending on how much he eats. You can see here if he has eight slices a day at 300 calories a slice, that's going to put him in a caloric deficit at 2,400. If he has 10 slices a day, he's going to be able to maintain at 3,000. And if he has 12 slices or more a day, he's going to be at that 3,600 calories, which is going to, in turn, help him gain weight. Don't believe me? I don't have this guy's name handy, but he did pull it off. He lost 100 pounds eating nothing but pizza. Here's the problem. That's where it is too good to be true. The goal shouldn't be weight loss. The goal should be fat loss. Weight loss implies um, fat, muscle, water weight. It's basically any weight that you lose is considered weight loss as opposed to fat loss where you retain your muscle and lose the unwanted fat. And that's what's gonna give you the lean chiseled physique that hopefully you're after if you're watching this video. So to make sure you're retaining muscle 
and losing fat, you need to do two very important things. And those are get enough protein in your diet and you need to be resistance training. But how much protein is enough protein? The recommended amount of protein is one gram per pound of body weight each day. This is where I start losing people. A gram per pound of body weight. Well, I weigh 150, so carry the one. Literally, whatever you weigh, that's how much protein you need each day. And you don't need to worry about what's a gram, how many grams are in an ounce, how many ounces are in a gallon. You don't have to worry about that. Because once you start plugging it into MyFitnessPal or any of these calorie counting apps, it will tell you how much protein you're at for the day. So again, you don't have to worry about that. Let's go back to Bill, who's living off of pizza now. If Bill still weighs 200 pounds, he should be consuming 200 grams of protein and lifting weights to avoid losing muscle. That means now he's going to be losing fat as opposed to just losing weight if he gets his 200 grams of protein. But as you can see, he watched my video, he's eating only pizza, and he is in a caloric deficit, so he still will slowly lose weight, but the problem is, as you can see, he's not getting anywhere near enough protein. He's getting 104 grams, which is about half of his daily recommended uh, amount of protein he should be getting. But if Bill only eats five slices of pizza and then adds a few high protein foods such as egg whites, chicken breast, and I think I threw in a protein shake for his other meals, look what happens. He's now still in a caloric deficit, even more than before by a couple calories. So he's going to be losing weight, but since he's now getting his recommended amount of protein, which is 200 grams a day, he's also going to be retaining muscle, meaning the weight he's losing is going to be coming from fat. Again, assuming that he's lifting weights. So where do you go from here? Step one, you got to figure out what your goal is. For the sake of argument, we're going to say it's fat loss. Figure out your daily maintenance calories. Again, this is going to be your body weight times 15. I would say if you have a desk job, you'd be safe at body weight times 14. Or if you're super active and you're trying to lose weight, just use that 15 to be safe, uh, safer than sorry. Better safe than sorry, I think is how it goes. Step three, calculate your goal calories for fat loss. It'll be your body weight times 10 to 14. If you're trying to be aggressive, I say use that 10 mark. It's also easier to do the math. Calculate how much protein you need each day. Again, that's just going to be your body weight, but in grams. And download the MyFitnessPal app or another calorie counting app and start logging what you eat. Be sure you're lifting weights so you retain the muscle and lose only the fat. Guys, I am taking on a few more clients who are looking to build muscle, lose fat, and do so all while still enjoying their social life. So if that sounds like something you'd be into, feel free to hit me up at joel at joelstaleyfitness.com. And I look forward to working together. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.